you're planning to go camping, don't. If you're looking forward to midnight swims, don't. The Burning is a summer camp-based horror movie from 1981, built to capitalize on the slasher craze of the time. The movie opens at Camp Blackfoot. A couple of kids are going to play a prank on one of the counselors named Cropsy. They sneak in while he's sleeping. And oh my god look at that thing. As far as campsite pranks go, this has to be one of the scariest things you could ever wake up to. In what I would call a perfectly legitimate reaction, Cropsy starts flailing his arms and legs around and kicks over the flaming rotten corpse head. Unfortunately, he likes to sleep curled up with a giant jug of gasoline at his feet. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire! Five years later Cropsy wakes up at the hospital to news that his skin grafts were unsuccessful. So he decides to kill a prostitute with some scissors. After he scissors the prostitute, he returns to Camp Blackfoot and spends most of the movie lurking around the outskirts of the camp where the burning happened. Most of the runtime is camp counselors swimming, yeah, ow, 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 stop. playing softball, sexually harassing girls, your boobs are huge, looking at skin magazines. You know, 80s stuff. I should mention that the scariest thing about this movie is the involvement of Harvey Weinstein. Fuck you! This is the first movie he made, co-written with his brother Bob. Fuck you too! This has not aged well. There are multiple creepy and aggressive dudes in it, including two guys that refuse to take no for an answer. Why'd you come out here? And a guy that has a real penchant for peeping. You are dis- most of the characters in the movie are of your standard slasher fare. Aside from Glazer and Eddie, two characters that would eventually be convicted sex offenders if they, spoiler alert, didn't get garden sheared. Come on, if two people like each other, if they want each other, so you do it. You get a group of characters that seem like they are having a genuinely good time at summer camp. This was the first film role for Jason Alexander and a young Holly Hunter. This also has Leah Ayers playing Michelle, well before moving to Hong Kong to take a job as a reporter and exposing the Ku Mom Tay. When we eventually get to the killing, it is classic Tom Savini quality. He turned down working on Friday the 13th Part 2 to do this movie, and his creativity is on full display. He's at his best coming up with creative kills, most involving punctures and body part lopping. Cropsy's weapon of choice is shiny garden shears. Because of, you know, the burning. After he prunes a counselor's neck for not putting out, prune, prune, the, uh, the hedges. he sets all the canoes free on the river, leaving the campers stranded. When they go to retrieve one we get a truly classic 80s horror scene and Cropsy gets to unleash his hedge clippers after years of pent-up yearning from the burning. Now that the cat's out of the bag and Cropsy has a taste for shearing, he chases the little pervert into an abandoned copper mine complete with a flamethrower and fuel. Give me fuel! We get an unnecessary flashback showing the very underwhelming revelation that Todd, oh, God, God, God. the head camp counselor, was one of the kids that partook in the burning five years ago. This is a lame reveal, but is also super messed up because Todd was the one telling the campfire legend of Cropsy earlier in the movie. 
You have to be a pretty big dick to use the time you were directly involved in burning some motherfucker alive and ruining his life to spook some kids. Cropsey is ultimately killed in restrained Tom Savini fashion, getting sheared, burned, and axed in the face. Ow, ow, ow. This movie is definitely an underrated and often overlooked classic of the slasher era. Some of it has not aged well. Fuck you, asshole. But the kills are good, and I like the summer camp atmosphere. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you would like to see more. Oh, ah!